Yo, what is up everybody? It is Random Addict, and today I want to talk about Call of Duty Elite. Specifically, I want to talk about if Call of Duty Elite was worth the money I paid. As some of you may have known, I bought, um, like right when Modern Warfare 3 came out, I bought a Call of Duty Elite Premium subscription, which basically just gives me all the maps for free, plus I get to go on their website, join a clan, look at my stats, and all that good stuff. But, um... Before I get on to that topic, um, I want to talk about two things actually. First of all, this gameplay was not the greatest. Um, I picked it because we pulled off a really nice clutch at the end, um, and that's what I like to see. Um, if you guys are here for really beastly scores and whatnot, you're probably not going to get those very much. Um, I like to play the objective in Domination, and I like to win games. I'm not going to sit there in a corner and rank up all my kills, except for I actually did do that in one video. I did that in my Moab video. But uh, that's probably about the only video like that you're going to see on this channel. And um, But from now on, I'm probably just going to show you some Domination wins and some close games that uh, we pull off a victory in. And um, so that's it for that. My, the second thing I want to talk about is uh, I got a new microphone, so uh, if I sound any different, that is why. I just figured I'd let you guys know. Um, beforehand, I was using my iPhone. Um, what I would do is I would just plug my headphones in and use that microphone. Then I'd have to transfer the audio from my iPhone to the computer. And now this new microphone just makes it so much easier. I just record it right on my computer, and uh, then I'm good to go. So, uh... That's pretty much all I wanted to talk about, and now we can get on to the topic that I had in mind. Um, Call of Duty Elite, was it worth it or not? Um, the simple answer to that question is yes, but uh, right now I'm going to go a little bit more in depth. Um, their website sucked, um, I will say that. The website was down for about the first month of the game. Um, I hardly ever go on it anymore, but um, there was some parts where the website could have been good. Um, for, first of all, if the website would have actually worked when the game was released, that's probably a good thing. Um, that's when the most people were on, and their website just never worked. It always crashed. I don't know how you could think that you're going to run a Call of Duty website with not millions of people coming to your website and trying to crash it. But obviously they didn't know that, and their website crashed. Um, but the other thing I wanted to talk about is their stats on their website. Um, the stats were good, but they weren't good like Black Ops stats were. As most of you know, Black Ops had the greatest stats out of any Call of Duty game ever. You could click on a person, view their stats, view their recent games. You could view pretty much anything you wanted to look at about a person. Their win-loss, um, there was like graphs of what weapons they like, and like a graph of where they hit people. Like in the, It was just crazy how many stats they had in Black Ops. Um, Call of Duty Elite, had those stats, but the one problem is is that you had to log on to your computer to get those stats. So uh, that's where it failed. Um, Black Ops was cool because you could just do it right in the pregame lobby when you're waiting to play someone. You could look up all their stats, and uh, it was re it was really cool. But um, now with this, with the Call of Duty Elite, um, they have all those stats, but you have to get on the computer or to the uh, dashboard application for the Xbox, and it makes just makes it that much harder. If they could find a way to implement the Call of Duty Elite stats into the game, like Black Ops, um, then that would be good. But uh, they kind of failed in that department. Um, I definitely, definitely, definitely would not pay any money if that's all I got. But um, the thing I did buy Call of Duty Elite for was the maps. Um, if you didn't know, a Call of Duty Elite subscription gets you every single map that they ever release in Modern Warfare 3, um, which is four DLC collections. But uh, the cool thing is, is that with the Call of Duty Elite subscription, you get a new map every month. Um, it's normally not just one, normally they release two or three, plus some Spec Ops missions, plus a game mode. Like they just released Chaos Mode, which is a super, super good map, or not even a map, a game mode. Um, so uh, Chaos Mode was awesome. But uh, yeah, you get new map or two every single month, and they just keep rotating those things in. So you get the maps at times like three months before other people, because they normally do three months, and then they combine all that together into a DLC collection. And um, so sometimes you'll get a map three three months before everyone else does. And um, it's really cool. You get to have some first-hand experience on maps that haven't even been released yet um, officially. And uh, I really like the maps. Um, 
I definitely that that's the one reason why Call of Duty Elite was worth it for me. Um, the first couple of map packs kind of sucked. Um, there was some good ones like Liberation was a good map, but uh, the first couple were kind of bad. And then this Chaos Mode thing that really threw it out of the roof for me. Um, chaos Mode is really fun. I enjoy playing it a lot. Um, I actually already put a Chaos Mode gameplay on this channel. If you want to go click on that down below in the description, I'll probably put it or annotation right now. And um, yeah, Chaos Mode is really fun. Um, but uh, I want to talk about, I bought Call of Duty Elite for $50. And um, if I would have bought every single map pack, it would have cost me $60. So uh, just right there, I saved $10 on the map packs by buying Call of Duty Elite. So anything extra is just um, icing on the cake, basically. Um, I saved 10 bucks on the map, plus I get all of them early. So uh, that, that, that's the reason why it was a good deal for me. Um, I probably would have bought all the maps anyways, so why not just buy Call of Duty Elite? Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about was the operations that they had for Call of Duty Elite. If you didn't know, you could do a lone wolf operation or a clan operation. And um, a lone wolf operation is basically they give you three hours to, say, collect or confirm the most kills and kill confirmed. And uh, after that three hours, whoever has the most confirms on Call of Duty Elite that enlisted into this operation um, wins a prize. Sometimes it can be just a digital badge. Sometimes they'll give you real prizes. Sometimes uh, it's good prizes. Sometimes it's just something like a t-shirt. But uh, that, that was a pretty cool feature. I did some of those just to see where I ranked in the world um, against other Elite members. But um, the other thing that they had was you could enlist into a clan or create a clan or whatnot, and that was pretty cool. I actually joined a clan just recently, and uh, just because I wanted to experience it, um, I bought Call of Duty Elite, so why not join a clan? And uh, it's pretty cool, actually. Um, you do the clan operations, which is just like the lone wolf operations, except for you're with your clan, so it's like the most clan kills... Um, would be an example of one. Most clan kills in team deathmatch, and um, whichever clan has the most kills after the three hours is normally the length, wins the operation. So uh, that's a really cool feature. Um, I like that of Call of Duty Elite a lot. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Call of Duty Elite was worth it, yes. Um, and then also they're going to be releasing the new Elite 2.0, which I haven't really done much research research on, so I can't tell you much about it. But uh, Elite 2.0 is what they're going to have in Black Ops 2. Um, I would definitely suggest buying it if you plan on buying all the maps anyways, because I know it will include all the maps again. Um, I know I'm going to buy it because I enjoy the maps, um, I play on the maps... And uh, yeah, so uh, Elite 2.0, that's what's going to be in Black Ops 2. The one thing I hope they do put in Elite 2.0 is, like I said earlier, I hope that you can look at people's stats from the pre-game lobby. Um, I really don't like going into the, uh, going onto the computer to look at people's stats. I never do it. Um, the only thing I look at is my own, which I don't even do that much because uh, their website kind of sucks, as I said earlier. And uh, it's hard to navigate, it's confusing, it's complicated. Black Ops was so cool, they had like millions of charts, and uh, it was just great, great, great. And uh, I really hope that they do that, um, implement that into Elite 2.0, and I hope they fix their website so that we can actually use it on the game launch. I think that uh, whoever does Elite could have got probably a lot more sales of the Elite Premium if their website actually worked from the beginning. Because people would look at their website and then go, oh, this is pretty cool, and they would buy it. But uh, their website didn't work, so uh, nobody bought the game, or nobody bought the subscription. And um, I bought it before the game was even released, so uh, I didn't really have that problem. I mean, I did that their website didn't work, which sucked, and I hated it. And uh, I was really regretting my decision to buy the thing after their website didn't work. But it uh, turns out it all worked out. Um, chaos mode was an awesome, awesome mode. Um, I think that pretty much did it for me in determin determining whether Elite was worth it or not. They still have one more map pack coming out, which is going to be the DLC Collection 4. It's going to have, I think, three new multiplayer maps, and um, it's going to be released on September 6th. 
so uh, if you still have a chance to buy a DLC but if you're not the type of person that likes to buy DLC if I can suggest one DLC to you it would be the DLC collection 3 um, it's only fifteen dollars that's the one that includes chaos mode plus three face-off maps so if you like to play face-off with your friends then uh, you can have some new maps to play on and chaos mode is one of the greatest game modes that was released in Call of Duty um, I really really enjoy it um, I really can't explain why probably just because it's just non-stop action you never are out of the action and um, I just love the game mode um, I don't really know how, like, why I like it, but I just love it. And if I can suggest one DLC for you, it would be the DLC Collection 3. Um, yeah, it, I think it includes, like, four Spec Ops missions, three maps, plus Chaos Mode. So uh, that's a pretty good deal, Three or $15 or 1,200 Microsoft points. And um, as you can see right here, we clutched the game with 100 and or with 10 points to go, and I think that will do it for me. Elite is worth it, or at least this year it was, and uh, I think next year it will even be more worth it because they can get rid of all those bugs and whatnot. So uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, looking forward to Black Ops 2. Um, hope you are as well. And I'll see you later.